welcome to another jewelry making video brought to you by KeepsakeCrafts.net. Today we're going to have some fun with wire and coiling it. We're going to make this great memory wire bracelet using coils of wire as spacers and even more coils to make coiled coil beads. So to make your coiled spacers, you'll need a package of wire. And I actually used an entire package of this German style wire. It says silver plated, but there's actually no silver in it whatsoever. It's copper and brass. But this is kind of a fun wire to use for wire wrapping. It's 20 gauge. If you look at it closely, you can see that it's actually wires that are twisted together. So you already have a twist. Then you're just going to use your coiling gizmo to coil them into two long coils. Because of the length of your tool, you'll have to do it in two pieces. And you'll end up with about 12 inches of coiled wire. And then you're going to cut this into 10 to 12 pieces. And let me show you how to cut these. So I didn't measure anything. I just kind of cut them anywhere from 3 quarters to a little over an inch. So what you do is you bend up your coil and that separates out one for you and then you can use your flush cutters to get in there and just cut that wire and separate them out and then you could see that your end gets distorted so what you can do is actually slide your coil back onto your mandrel and this is a one millimeter mandrel by the way and then you can use a pair of chain nose pliers to just kind of push those coil ends back nice and tight up against each other and if these little ends are sharp push them down so they're not sharp. To make your coiled coil beads first you're going to take three one yard pieces of 22 gauge wire and coil each of those pieces into a single coil and then cut those each into two pieces just the same way I showed you and straighten your ends. Now what I often like to do in this case is leave my wire on the spool so that I don't waste it and I'll make several of these coiled coil beads at once. So the first thing you'll need to do, you can do two or three, um, up to three at a time on a mandrel. But I'm just going to slide both of these on the wire first. If you leave it on your spool, you have to slide your coils on first. And then you proceed the same way you do to make a regular coil. Wrap a little bit of the wire around the handle of your mandrel. Slide your mandrel into the tool. And if I wasn't filming this, this would be clamped to a bench, which does help. Next, before you slide up your coil, just go ahead and make a few wraps until you're far enough away from the handle that you can make about three or four wraps that are nice tight against each other. That's going to be the end of your bead. Zoom in for you. Then, just slide your coil up and hold it in place and wrap the same the same way you did for wrapping just a single wire. I just love the way that looks. It's kind of like magic. And then make again three or four wraps at the end. And then if I'm making multiple beads on one mandrel, I'll just kick that over like a quarter of an inch. And then start again. Three or so for the end of my bead. Slide up my coil. You can see this saves you wasted wire rather than rewrap and time rather than rewrapping and then repeat to make a cap on the end and then you can just cut these apart and leave about three or four coils of wire on each end of each bead. So now that you know how to make your coiled spacers and your coiled coil beads let me just review a little bit of the math. These spacers are made with 20 gauge wire and three meters, a little over three yards, will yield about 12 inches of coils. And I've cut these into, I think, about a dozen pieces. And then these coiled coil beads are made of 22 gauge wire, 
and a one yard or about a one meter piece will yield about three inches of coils which is enough to make two of these beads. So I've gone ahead and made I think about eight beads and these coils and then I've assembled some other beads. I have these little rose quartz beads from House of Gems. I have some glass cubes. I have some crystals and then just some cloisonnate beads that I thought would be pretty sort of focals along with the coiled beads. And then of course for a memory wire bracelet you'll need some memory wire. I like to cut about five loops. That works out to be around 35 inches and gives you a bracelet that will wrap around your wrist about four times. And then the next thing that's really useful is one of these bead design boards. And you can use this to lay out your whole piece, whether it's a necklace or a bracelet, because we have 35 inches of bracelet beads to lay out. This board is perfect because it goes to exactly 35, 17 and a half. So the way I like to lay out bracelets like this are just to start spacing out my biggest elements first around the entire board. And I'm not going to worry about measurements or any kind of precise symmetry. I just want them spaced generally evenly. So once I have all my coil spacers laid out, then I'll find homes for all my coil beads. And then I'll find homes for the, the cloisonne. And then I think I'll put one of these pink cubes on either side of each cloisonne. And then let's find some spaces for these rose quartz beads. And then finally, just fill in the remaining gaps with the crystals. And there, I have my design all laid out. I'm happy with that. One more thing I thought would be fun to add to this bracelet are just these little rhinestone dangles because you have to make a loop on each end of your wire to keep your beads from slipping off. And so these can dangle from the loop. Now this wire is, like I said, it's tempered. That's why it holds its shape, why it's memory wire. So it's a little bit hard to shape, but you're only going to have to make two loops, so you can do it. You just use your round nose pliers, make sure there's no wire poking out, grasp it nice and tight, and then bend and bend until you have a loop. And then I'll just open that a little and slide on my dangle. Now the rest is really easy. You're just going to pick somewhere to start in your pattern and string on all your beads. Make a loop at the end, add your other dangle if you like, and that's it. Here's another look at the bracelet we made today. I hope you like this idea of using wire coils to make your own beads and components for your jewelry. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you see more like it. Also up on the screen are two more bracelet making videos you may enjoy. Please be sure to check out my blog KeepsakeCrafts.net where I have lots more creative ideas and inspiration. Happy creating! Bye bye!